It's time for The Rundown. Tune in as Amelia and Lori share their must-dos in some of their favorite cities, amuse you with their guilty pleasures, share the unsung promo hero of the week, and help decipher all those impossible text acronyms. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 20 of The Rundown. I'm Amelia Model, Vice President of Sales for Promo Corner. And joining me as always is my co-host, Ms. Lori Bolton, Vice President of Sales at Logomark. Lori, how you doing? I'm great, Amelia. So good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'll tell you about all my craziness. It seems like I always have something happening. So I guess it's a good thing we do this show so I can tell somebody about all the weird <laughs> things that happen. We'll just turn it into a therapy session. Perfect. That's what I live for to air my dirty laundry on the inner wide web. <laughs> so in, in this episode, we are going to get a new health tip during living with Lori. Um, hear my latest mom did story, share the unsung promo hero of the week, our guilty pleasures, and then decipher some acronyms and emojis. But before we get started, we do have our lovely show sponsor, Logo Mark. Woohoo! And I'm showcasing some of this, so I'm going to point, I'll point while I talk. So Logo Mark is a leading supplier in the promotional products industry. Duh, we all know that. Logo Mark is also known for retail brands. So if you look behind me, there is the Sherpani bag, which I can't wait to share in a model's closet coming up soon. I have my egg weights. I have my Mana. Um, you guys do Igloo, Pelican, Solo, tons of stuff. And I think I have all of that stashed in my house too. Logomark offers high quality products and exceptional customer service and continues to be a top 10 supplier of hard goods. Logomark is also has an award-winning solutions team that puts an emphasis on teamwork and service, and they have extensive product knowledge and a great attitude to help you creatively present a variety of ideas and items designed to meet any client's request. Go check them out at logomark.com or reach out to Lori and she'll let you know who your local rep is and who you should be reaching out to. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm stoked about showing, I'm, I'm like a weatherman right there. I'm stoked about showing that bag off soon because it has, it's amazing when I read all the little tags. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes. And I just made a big note here. I have to get your Pelican cooler ordered today because there's stock um, and then your iCool bag. So both those will be perfect for you um, on the boat. Yeah. I cool. I just walk around and say, I cool. I cool. <laughs> so before we start my therapy session, Lori, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, what is going on in my world? Um, well, I found out this week, my bonus daughter, Nicolette passed her boards. So she Yay. is officially a neonatal nurse practitioner. That's awesome. I know we're so proud of her, like incredibly proud. Um, and she's been doing this while working full time as a nurse in the neonatal, um, hospital in Colorado. I won't say where, but in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, super proud of her and what else has been going on? I'm still obsessed with Echelon. Um, yes. my love of my life. And then I don't think I told you this when I saw you in Chicago, we has Chicago was a little crazy for me, mm -hmm. but as I was driving to the airport to Phoenix, sometimes I fly here local. Sometimes I have to go to Phoenix as I'm driving an hour and a half to the Phoenix airport. There is a major storm happening at my house, in my neighborhood, in my community. Uh -huh. We have to have our entire roof replaced. Oh my yeah. God. It's like three months old. I know it's called hail damage. What's hail? Oh. So we had a storm last night. Well, first I was like, me and one of my girlfriends, we were like, no kids, no husbands. Mm -hmm. We're just going to go chill for a few hours. And so we went and had, um, had dinner, had some drinks, went to like home goods, just kind of hung out for a while. And I got home probably at like 1030 and there was no power. They're like, the power went off. All the fire alarms were going off. One of the toilets flooded, like all shit had broke loose in my house. It was gone. <laughs> And I was like, okay, well, I'm glad I've already had a couple of drinks. So no big deal to me. I'm just going to ignore it. It'll pop on in the middle of the night. We'll just have to shut all the lights off. Uh, my power did not come back on until 11 o'clock this morning. So we had no power. My daughter had to get up for cheer practice at 530. So 
I like set my alarm to make sure she got up because she was in bed before I got home. So we had that, the dogs running around. I just threw like a few curls in my hair because I didn't have a curling iron. I tried to put my makeup on with the flashlight this morning. It's a good thing I looked in the mirror before I got on camera because I'm not good. <laughs> oh my god! Like a blind person doing being a makeup artist. It was it was not pretty. You look fabulous. You look fabulous. So, oh yeah. My goodness. That was my day. I tried to work off my hot spot a little bit this morning, but then I was nervous about draining my batteries for everything. And then my kiddos had dental appointments. So luckily I have a family member in town that has a business. So I just kind of took my laptop and set up shop and the dentist was right across the street. So I just sent the kids one by one and did my work and yeah, the life, right? Like we, we just, again, we take it for granted, but I, um, I'll keep you posted on the, on how this goes with insurance and logistically getting our roof redone in the heat of summer. Yeah. Well, I'm betting there'll be a backlog just because yeah, singles, labor, amount of houses. I'm sure you'll have to wait a while. We yeah. had to redo our roof two or three years ago and we had, it was wind damage. So severe winds had like lifted shingles and some had come out and I mean, insurance covered it, which was nice because the roof was 14 years old. So it was nice to get a new roof on that. Yeah. This is only three months. Like you want to wait a good five years before you have to replace. You would think, but I'm going to (laughs) upgrade to like a super duper, like amazing roof. I don't know what my options are, but I'm going for the the hundred year roof. (laughs) Fancy one. Good luck. Good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. What's going on with you? We have been um, dealing with storms. And you see us both taking our water because we're, go Chiefs, because we're hydrating and we need to hydrate. So what is your tip this week for living with Lori? So last episode, we talked about doing lukewarm water with some fresh lemon juice, either Mm -hmm. squeezed from lemons you've got, or Costco has the organic lemon. So the reason we do this and we do it first thing when we get up in the morning, it's to rehydrate our body because we wake up dehydrated and it's also to regulate our digestive system, which two super important things. Um, but for the lemon, what's so important about the lemon, it's got calcium, fiber, iron, um, vitamin C, magnesium, and what that all equals bottom line is energy throughout the day. So my clients that I get them to start with just this in the morning and cause it's, we take baby steps. Um, they notice a difference immediately. You have energy throughout the day with just eight ounces of water, lukewarm. You don't want to shock your body with cold water Mm -hmm. and a little bit of lemon juice. And the benefits again, are your digestive energy and rehydrating your body. So that's what we were talking about were the benefits of why. Love it. I actually ran to the store while I was leaving my kids unattended at the dentist office. I like ran some (laughs) errands and I bought the like natural lemon juice because I have it every time I went every morning, I'm like, I don't have any lemons. So I just got the lemon juice because the lemons get gross. Once you cut them, I feel like they kind of, yeah. And it's, um, it should be refreshing. It shouldn't be when you take a, a sip of the water, the lemon water that you're like, you want to dilute it because lemon as a whole, if you just do it by yourself, it's rough on the enamel. Mm-hmm. So you dilute it with the lukewarm water, which is good for the digestive system. So yeah, don't be doing shots of lemon juice by itself. Okay. But room temperature is better for the um, system. And again, the combination of the lukewarm water and the lemon juice is just the benefits are amazing. If that's all you do with mm-hmm. all the different tips I give you, you're going to be golden. Okay. Well, good to know. Good to know. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to check in on you too. (sighs) Do I need, I need all the checking in on. I can get, I I definitely need checking in on. So my, um, mom did this week, uh, was a conversation I had with my son. This happened a few weeks ago. We have, I have my three dogs, the older two are females. And then the newest one that's, um, he'll be a year in October. He's a male unneutered because he's, he's a stud dog. So the the breeder has rights to his spermies, I guess. Um, But Maddox was talking about like, once he's done, like with his contract of breeding and when we fix him, what's that look like? And I've never had a male dog that hasn't been fixed before they're 
testes come in basically. <laughs> so I'm trying to explain to Maddox what they do. And I was like, I wasn't hundred percent sure because they've always just been fixed when they were little. And so I'm trying to explain it and using terms like, it's like, I don't know if they cut them off or not, but they definitely do something so that the sperm isn't effective. And I'm using these terms because he's asked me about babies and stuff. So I try to use like scientific words that bore him yeah. and then he goes away. Um, <laughs> and I was like, they kill something. And so I'm using the word sperm testicles, cut them off. And about five minutes later, my phone rings. Cause I was outside on the front porch or my phone beeps. And I looked down and my mom sent me a text message. She goes, was this for me? And I read it. My phone was doing a voice text over for some reason, when I set my phone down, I had been texting with my mom most recently. And so it was recording my phone conversation and sent my words in a text to my mom. So she hears, she reads, I don't know if they cut them off, but they kill the sperm. And she's oh like, my oh, goodness. Texting. Oh my yeah. goodness. So yeah, that was my moment when That's I was like, awesome. Like you need to save that, that we could, that could be like a bloop and blunder, you know, uh, of the rundown. <laughs> I was glad it was only my mom and not right. Like a work person or I would have called you right away. Amelia, what what are my you like kids, friends, moms that I don't know very well or something. They'll be like, what the hell? My kid has never gone to her house. But she yeah. You're not allowed out of her. <laughs> they cut the things off. Unsung hero, I am not, but we do have an unsung hero this week, and Jeff Solomon nominated Nick Latour of HPG, and so we're going to watch this quick little video that Jeff did. Jeff Solomon, the publisher of freepromotips.com here, and also one of the founders of Advocates for the Industry. Here's my promo hero of the week. Is it of the week? Of the week. I'm going to go with Nick Latour, okay, Mr. Monday. Now, I love uh, Mr. Monday because he works great on any day and he is with HPG Brands. Uh, and it's just a group of people that are all about creating the customer experience. And I'm actually using them in my distributor, uh, ex uh, in, in my distributor business to create a memorable experience through Batch and Bodega, that custom artesian food line they have. So Nick rocks it. And the way he c communicates and delivers that marketing brand message for HPG, it rocks. So Mr. Monday, you are good on any day of the week. And I think this thing runs on Friday. So you work on Friday, you work on Monday. Nick, we love you, man. Thank you so much, Jeff. That was amazing. And thank you, Nick. You are amazing. I am also a, a fan girl of Nick Latour. If you don't know either of these gentlemen, you should definitely look them up, say hello, give them a shout. But thank you. And thank you, Jeff. I totally caught him off guard at the SAC show a few weeks ago. and was just like, hey, you're familiar with cameras. Can I put a camera in your face and record this real fast? Love it. He's the only person that said yes right away. Everybody else kind of gave me a side eye. So Thank you for being a good sport. So Lori, mm -hmm. guilty pleasures. You mentioned you're still biking like a fiend on your echelon. Yes. But I what else are you doing? Love my echelon. So I have finished manifest. Oh, good. And um, I, oh, I just can't wait for the next season to come out. I hope. I, I mean, I don't so know. So you've watched all the seasons that have been released on Netflix so far? Yes. Which all is that three? I think it's three, Amelia. Okay. I think it's three. My new one that I started, I'm in season two now. Episode eight is Virgin River. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. I know you've probably watched. I've seen them. Yeah. It's like but a this, Hallmark this, show on Netflix. Like, it's very. I love this one, though. Yeah. It's like PG-14, so I know nothing crazy is going to happen. Like, yeah, it cuts out. Like if they start to go into kissing, making out, you know, it's going to progress. Yeah. It cuts. And then, you know, there's sheets up here. It doesn't show anything. Love. Yeah. It's a good story. Love it. It's a good husbands are not going to watch it with their wives. Not probably unless they really love their wife, but um, right. most of the time it's going to be a chick flick. Like, but it's good. I love it. And, um, I love Jack. I do too. Hot. So I don't know what yeah. his real name is, but he's got an Australian accent in real life. Which oh, does he really? Hotter. Isn't that amazing how they can switch that on and off? I think it's fascinating. So Virgin River, just to give you the, the scope of it, it is a nurse practitioner 
Mm -hmm. and a midwife from Los Angeles that relocates to this little tiny quiet mountain town. Mm -hmm. And you have to watch, you have to watch to get um, on the rest, but it's super, I love it. It's so good. It's good. And Jack owns the local bar. Jack owns she the lives local not bar. too far from that has food. It's like, a, yes. it's like the hangout spot. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's like within walking distance of this, of Jack's bar. Yeah. It's kind of weird how that happens when they're out nowhere and then everybody can just walk there, but <laughs> the powers of television. Exactly. Okay. Well, I have already watched all three seasons of that. I burned through those pretty quickly at night. I watched season two of a show called Outer Banks. Yeah. Um, it's something that me and my daughter got into in the first season. And then I actually downloaded all of them. And when I was traveling, when I was at SAC, either on the airplane or I hate watching TVs in a hotel, like I can't yeah. figure out the channels or <laughs> What the, I think they I do that on purpose. Local news. I don't know. They make it so hard. Like, yeah. Mario Lopez and Kristen Bell face were on there all the time. Like Mario was doing his extra, extra. I was like, shut up, Mario. I want to ah. hear about it. So I watched Outer Banks and it is um, a movie about some teenage kids and they're, they call themselves pogues. Like they're on the outskirts of town. They're like the poor kids or the people that didn't they don't have money and they just kind of live and, you know, fish and get in trouble. And then there's the rich socialites um, and some of them intertwine. And there was a big, huge cliffhanger at the end of season one. And so you get to see what happens. And then now there's another cliffhanger and it just ended. Yeah. So that's Outer Banks on Netflix. There's two seasons. I watched them both. Okay. Good stuff. Lori, I, you haven't had cards for me for a while. Do you have cards for me or do I just get to torture you today? Um, you get to torture me today. I okay. will have cards for you next week. Okay. Next episode. Um, so we have a little bit of time here. So I pulled multiple things. So I have family feud emojis and acronyms, but we don't need to necessarily do all of them. So where would you like to start? Well, what's your pleasure? Let's do family feud. I'm going to bust it today. Okay. These are all, um, PG, nothing that you can be dirty about. No naked men. Okay. So these shirtless men (laughs) half naked. So, um, this one has six answers. Okay. And the question is name a foreign accent. That's easy to tell what country the person comes from. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. French. Yep, number two. English. Not British, English. Well, let's see how they're putting it. British? British is the number one answer. Um, I would say French. There's six. French, um, British. What about um, Spanish? Yes. That was number four. What about Australian? No, you would think that. Darn. British, what? British, and like Australian sometimes. Yeah, I feel like they teeter. What about um, Portuguese? No. Huh. But a language that is similar to Portuguese. No, you said that Spanish. Um, how about if I use the, if I say avirase, do you know what that is? How are you? It's, I think it means goodbye, but it's German. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. German. Plume always said it at the end of her um, runway show when the person got voted off. Uh, avirase. Oh, what about Japanese? Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> um, who chased the snakes? What country is known for chasing snakes? Top of the morning to ya. Crocodile Dundee? No, my accent sucks that bad. (laughs) (laughs) Who is it? It's me, I'm... Irish. Irish. Aw, thanks, Amelia. You're always so good. You could have been an actress. (laughs) Because I know how to fake it so well. I love it. Uh, Okay. I have one more. Do you want to do this one? Yeah. Okay. This is up your, 
up your alley has to do with exercise. Name okay. something you'd find on the floor of a super fit person's home. How many answers? There are seven. Okay. Weights. Number one. Matt. Number two. Bands. Mm, nope. Exercise bands. Dumbbells. Is that going under weights? That's weights. Um, a towel. Nope. Hmm. Jump rope. Nope. Water. Sweat. Sweat. Mm-hmm. Number seven. Um, weights, mat, bands. Think sweat. of a piece of equipment. I have one of these in my house. Um, an ab roller. I do not have one of those. Treadmill. Treadmill. That's number four. Um, um, what do you normally see me wearing? Workout clothes. Active Hats. wear. Active wear. Active wear. And then this, um, this is pretty specific, but, um, an exercise ball or like, I was, yeah, mine's in my ball. bedroom. Yep. But I've got my whole basket over here, my blocks, my mat, my roller. Oh, and shoes. Do we say that shoes or sneakers? No. One, two, three, shoes. That's it. It's shoes. Ugh. All right. I didn't do so good on that. Okay. Um, I'm still good on time here. So would you prefer to do, um, I have three emoji cards pulled or I have three acronyms ready. Let's do acronyms. Okay. Amelia's getting her board ready. Yeah, I am. So I K R. I K R. If I texted you something, and we agreed. I know, right? Yes. How did you know that? I don't know. <laughs> Lori, who are you? Uh, you had your warm water this morning because you. Are- I did. Wow, I am so impressed right now. I wish I could high five you. Woo! Through the through the camera. Okay. D N F. If um, I'm asking you about one of your shows and you're still in the middle of it, are you, I'm wanting to talk to you about how something ends and you're like, oh, no, you would text me back DNF. Do not forget. Did not finish. Oh, shoot. Close, close, close. close. Good job. Okay, uh, this is more something work related. Or I would only really use it then. So T B R. If I sent you a bunch of articles and I was like, hey, what'd you think of that? And you would say, you might respond this way. Too boring, Rodney. Too boring, Rodney. <laughs> to be read. I don't know oh. how to explain that. Yeah. Like, oh, I haven't gotten to it. They're to be. They're in my to be read file. What about happened to to be done? To be. To be. Oh, or no. I still like last week's badass unicorn. Badass unicorn. All right. Well, we're done. It's Friday. So fast. I'm ready for the weekend. I feel like it's been <sighs> a week. Oh, they all feel long. It's been like a month in this week. I tell you. It has. It has for sure. Like crazy. And I've gotten so lucky to see you the last couple of weeks. I like in, twice in the last month. I know. More the last month than we have the past year and a half. I know. It's been amazing. It was so good. I saw you in Long Beach. It was fun. Hopefully we can get together before Vegas, but. Oh, we will. Time is flying so fast. Who knows? I know. It's crazy. But that is going to do it for us this week. Thank you, everybody, for, to- to- for jo- joining and tuning, whatever those two words are together. Thank you so much for joining us this week. Be sure you comment. Tell us your guilty pleasures. Suggest some new shows for me. I'm burning through every programming station there is. Don't forget to nominate your unsung promo hero. We love it when you guys send video clips in. 
you can just text those to me or email them to me at sales at promocorner.com and tune in again on September 10th, which happens to be my wedding anniversary, to hear more from Living with Lori and how I've mommed it again and probably scarred my children for life. <laughs> Part of good parenting, right? If you're exactly. not embarrassing your kids, you're not being a good parent. I love it. All right. Bye. Bye.